All right, y'all. Okay, standing straight like a soldier. You have your hands here. Initially, I like to keep them on my sides, just so that I'm loose. What you're gonna do with your legs is point your toes initially in, out, in as much as you can, and out again. This should get you into the ideal position to go into the stance. Then, what you're gonna do, again, people may vary in depth when it comes to how low they can go. If you can only go down here, that's fine. We all gotta go start somewhere. As you get better, you can start lowering it, lowering it, lowering it, till when you're ideally 90 or a little bit lower. One thing to remember in this, and even I didn't think of this as I'm doing this, this can be also another progression, is to not let your knees cave in. You don't want that. You want to ground your feet so that they're, they're going out and then holding this for time. Kudos to you, bonus points if you can do it without hands and your back straight. I'm already getting a workout. From there, you can mess around a bit. You can try going a little bit wider. This can help build great endurance. It has carryover to squats, to lunges, possibly if you want to work on your splits, it can be a good strengthening exercise if you add it with weight. Really good finisher for if you're crazy enough, you can put this at the beginning and then go into uh, doing normal bodyweight squats after and you it will be felt your body will be like <laughs> but I know that may be too simple for some so if that's the case I would recommend clicking on this video.